welcome to a one night stand with the big band. Music by Billy Maxted and his famous Manhattan Jazz Band. And our guest tonight on a one night stand with the big bands is Dan Tracy, who now lives in downstate Connecticut and has been a great clarinet and saxophone star with this same musical group. My name is Arnold Dan and a one night stand service. Welcome to a one night stand with the big bands. That's rather a foreshortened arrangement of Come Back, Sweet Papa, but we'll hear that again along toward the end of our program. And before we meet our special guest tonight, Dan Tracy, I think it best if we perhaps just sit back and enjoy a little of the great music that this group makes. Billy Maxted and his Manhattan Jazz Band and one of my own favorites, it's Satin Doll. <laughs> I think that's a nifty recording. Now let's meet Danny Tracy from Danbury, Connecticut. Dan, this was one of your most requested numbers with that group, wasn't it? It got to be very big. Uh, it was um, something that Billy experimented with, actually. We oh, were, is that right? Yeah, we were working in uh, Toledo, Ohio, and about 3 o'clock in the morning, he said, before you guys go home, I want to try something. You know? <laughs> and uh, and he, uh, that's the way the thing started. Was that welcome news after you'd been playing all night? In a way, it probably was a little bit of a relief because the customers were no longer a factor at that point, and you really got a chance to be more inventive. No, we all had our minds set on ribs. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, the thing sounded good, and uh, it really took off very well for us. Got big uh, in quite a few cities, Columbus, Ohio, Detroit, San Francisco. Um, they just they didn't, didn't hit all at the same time. Otherwise, it would have really gotten big. 
but it took turns getting big in each particular city. Isn't that nice? And uh, that's what Billy wanted. Uh, he wanted to try something different and exactly what he wanted, and it got good. How much did you fellas rehearse the things you were going to do? They come out sounding as fresh and inventive as though they are uh, completely ad lib, but I know that there's a framework built into it, too, that you worked on and practiced. Sure. Um, we'd, we'd run something down, maybe um, one, one, a brand-new tune that he wanted us to do, um, maybe one or two rehearsals, maybe. And he gave us about a week to memorize it. Mm. Um, which gave us the free feeling, in, in the way you, like you just mentioned, the swinging part of it, uh, memorizing it rather than reading it. And uh, it was a freer feeling. Yeah. I'm interested in knowing how tough a taskmaster he was. I'm interested in knowing more about Danny Tracy, too, where you were born and when you began playing clarinet and sax. But we'll keep mixing in some music as we uh, carry on this conversation, as we traditionally do here on a one-night stand. And the next one we're going to hear, uh, Danny, tell us something about this. How long has this been going on? That's the title. Uh, right. Um, when I was practicing at home, of course, I practiced with all the Goodman records and uh -huh. uh, play alongside of him uh, on the record, of course. And um, But Peggy Lee did this with Benny many years ago, and I always liked it. Uh, and when we got to Nick's, in between sets, they had... Uh, Young fella, um, piano player Hank Duncan. Does that sound familiar to you? Hank Duncan, Hank I've heard Duncan, the name. He was a piano player at Nick's in between sets, and we'd play with him once in a while, just piano and and me or somebody else, just play a few tunes with him. And I'd always play that. One night Billy came in with it, the arrangement on it, <laughs> and that that's how it happened. And um, I'm very happy about it. Well, let's listen to it with Danny Tracy featured with Billy Maxted and the Manhattan Jazz Band. How long has this been going on? Mm -hmm. 